I thought I was hitting her, that would stop it. Salamander. Well, I don't think I can even use him on the last boss anyway. Twice, what bouts are you talking about? I thought you might have been talking about the battle arena. Was that what you were saying? <laughs> There's like an emblem in this area as well. Which I'm already using the emblems I have. That gives you stat bonuses? I wish they'd give me like health and attack boost. <laughs> So you do just have to follow her the whole way. Okay. 
However, if you'd rather prolong your agony, I'd be happy to oblige. How many times have you restarted the PS2? <laughs> so what time do you have work? Time to come and play. I've already watched these cutscenes. Wow! She looks horrible! Now, Kendra, from your very corpse, I will claim that seed. Hit myself with it. So pissed after that first hit. She did the last time too. Yeah, this is the final boss. Obey me. No! 
Come on. Come on. Oh, that's not good. Is it the disc or is it the PS2? Of course, you would have to have time to know that. Why'd you put pressure down on it to turn it to reset it twice? <laughs> Doesn't need to be. Did you hear like a grinding sound? Here you go. <laughs> Stupid snakes, just calm down! So the balls don't do anything, all the crystals do. Oh, although that's nice. Every time? Snake's back. Man, this worked out a lot earlier, easier earlier. I don't know if she changed her behavior, but I just got worse. Really? No. I think this is worse than Legend in some ways, yes. Others no.
reaching that stupid snake. <laughs> Stays an even distance away from me. I want to give her one good hit on her. I'm dead. Shouldn't have lost patience. <sighs> I gotta go through that long part again. That's what I really don't want to do. Just throw me back into the battle. Don't make me do the other part. That's what I like Square likes to do, you know, world ending dimension, dimensional being, magic powers, all that. <laughs> Let's get going, Faye! Good strategy on that snake. I just got too impatient. Started getting too close to him. I'm gonna go grab a diet root beer. I'll be right back. Definitely be agonizing just sitting here doing this crap. Oh, missed him. Oh, that one gave me a stat. Oh, that one gave me a stat. Finally giving me stats because I'm hitting them all. Must be. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, I don't want your coin. Oh wow, it has to do with the combo.
Yeah, if I gotta get some more salamanders, that'd be great. Salamanders and dryads, I need them for the snakeheads. A salamander. Oh, give me more. Moon dying. Oh man, no, this is my favorite part of the fight. I suppose I should win the next fight with those salamanders. Ah! I messed up my combo. I don't know. Choice, what time do you work? Combo again. Okay, I should be here. I prepared a place for you to okay. die. However, if you'd rather prolong your agony, I'd be happy to oblige. Let us be quite patient. Stay away from her. Throw that stuff a little better.
Ah, oh, freaking targeter! Okay, and then I gotta run. Yes, I need to, yeah. So pissed for so long before she finally calms down. Okay, this one's the fire one. So. Oh, I was on the right one. Can't see me. There we go. That's a possibility. <laughs> That I understand the tossing mechanic a little bit more. Ah! the targeting. <sighs> Come on, you stupid controls. Ah, oh, I got hardly anything on her with that. Boo.
Man, how is she doing that? Well, pick me up, <laughs> One, maybe two. More of those uh, combos. I think I got this. that
论。
It's over. It's time to add up the time. Oh, there's not going to be some weird pop song? It's half expecting that. Alright, so the total time for the easy mode playthrough uh, was 17 hours 45 minutes around there. Uh, total time that I put here on Twitch was 22 hours 45 minutes to these end cutscenes. Sorry, 21 hours 45 minutes and then I played an hour off game. Almost exactly an hour for uh to restart on easy mode chapters one and two. So yeah. There you go.
It's over. This is, this is the, the bond, bond between, between humans and spirits, spirits in this, this world. world. The, the origin, origin of the, the Mana tree. tree. Time does fly by. Why have you been thousands of years since all that happened? Thousands. So the fall of lost on the Mana tree too. And now, around the Haramana, what are we to do? Play heroes again. Something. We can't just walk away here. We have to have the man over here. We need to be made. Now we have the man over here. Hmm. Wow, they all knew what she was going to say. <laughs> Everyone's waiting. <laughs> Forgot about those guys. Another coda cutscene. Yep, you missed it. <laughs> I beat the final boss, thankfully. Uh, if you want to hear more, check out our podcast, Ultima Final Fantasy, the ultimate Final Fantasy podcast. You can find it on whatever podcatcher you used, and we're on YouTube as well. Um, and the review for this game should be out within about a week if Schweiss beats it by the time he's got a go to on his trip so we're gonna try to record the episode friday that means the episode will come out probably a little after that Is that a clarinet? Sounds like a real one. Thank you. 
Ooh, does it just straight up? <laughs> True. Sad life for Keldrick that you could definitely ruminate on a little better if the game didn't have uh, some of the most frustrating platforming I have played in years. But it's over now. And now the next game, ladies and gents, whoever's watching, whoever watches this later. The next game is... Let's see, can I mess with this? I can. Boom! Look at me, I'm huge. <laughs> should have cleaned my room um the next game is heroes of mana it's the f the last game in the mana series that was brought over to north america there is one more mana game um that was a mobile title but eventually made it onto the playstation vita in japan but we can't get a hold of it not legally and nor do we speak japanese so this is the last mana game we're going to be playing for our podcast um, right after this here, uh, Legend of Mana is reviewed. And then we'll be back into Final Fantasy XIV, and then we'll continue on with our weird little list that we're going through on the games. So anyway, look at it. There, I just, I just opened it. It was factory sealed. So it was my Donna Mana, actually. This was shrink-wrapped. This, this hadn't been opened, because no one bought this game. <laughs> It had a total sales of 400,000. And that's between Japan and the United States. Or North America, so Canada as well. So, crazy. Um, crazy that that was the fourth Second Dead Setsu game. And didn't exactly set the world on fire. Um, the other ones did a lot better, the first three games. FF Adventure and... And, uh... Legend of Mana also did really well. Uh, you know, seven years before this game. Uh, quite a big gap uh, between mana, major Mana titles. Of course, the DS Children of Mana did come out technically a couple months before Donna Mana did. So that's why we played it before it. But yeah, look at that. Look at all the Mana games. I got Children of Mana used. It was harder to find. Um, so it only came with a little cartridge. Just sad. I don't have a box for it. Anyways. Um, thank you for watching. I don't think... I mean, Schweiss might be streaming Donna Mana starting tomorrow. That's up to him. I have no idea if he'll do it or not. Um, keep your notifications on. It might be a little while before we stream again if he doesn't. Um, just because, what is it, Heroes of Mana is uh, not a title that we can stream with. It's, it's a different kind of DS, or it's a DS title, so we can't stream it. Um, but yeah. Uh, we can't. So there's, we have rules for what's on our list. Um, so we're a Final Fantasy podcast, right? And... We played all the Final Fantasy games. Every single one that's come out in the United States. There was only one game that wasn't brought over here anyway. It was a Final Fantasy Unlimited PC game. So there was technically 51 Final Fantasy titles. Um, at this moment. And uh, the, these mana games are actually sequels to Final Fantasy Adventure. Um, so... And we started with the main series, and then we did sequels and prequels to the main series, and then we did spin-off titles that officially said Final Fantasy, and now we're in the um, the spin-off titles or the sequels to Final Fantasy games that are not listed as um, Final Fantasy anymore. Like, they don't have the Final Fantasy in the name. So the first game is a Final Fantasy title, and then the sequels are all mana games and they retitled the the first game for future releases but technically still in the version that we played was final fantasy adventure um then we are going into games with characters that have shown up in in our games with final fantasy characters 
um, that aren't Final Fantasy games. Um, going all the way through, we're doing Smash Bros. and stuff like that, all the way through Kingdom Hearts, which is quite a few games. And then after that, it's games that were pitched as Final Fantasy games at Square Enix, and then they changed their title before the game came out. Um, and there's a there's a couple really big ones. There's three really big ones in there. Um, those are the last games on our list. So it's, and then the show's over. <laughs> um, I really like Final Fantasy twelve as well. Schweiss, my co-host who might pop up on the channel in the next couple days, he uh, he's a real big fan of Final Fantasy twelve. That's that is probably his personal favorite. Um, anyways, guys. Ultima Final Fantasy. Check us out on YouTube if you want to find out more. Or your favorite podcatcher, addict or apt. Mine is Podcast Addict. Um. Anyways, it's time. It's time for me to go. I'm tired. I've just beat this game. Oh, relief, relief. Um, knowing that I don't have to do that platforming ever again. Um. It's a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out.